Welcome back everyone to the 5 Stars YouTube channel. In today's video we are looking at the top 5 best external GPUs that you can buy this year. Without further ado let's get right into it. What is an eGPU? An eGPU is basically a box that can store and process an external graphics processor, which connects to your main computer to power its graphics. eGPUs are designed for computers that don't have a dedicated GPU, or for computers with underpowered graphics cards. Maybe you have an old laptop, or a small desktop computer, but you want to do advanced video editing or play computer games without having your computer explode into flames. The eGPU connects to your computer to help it handle graphics. With an eGPU, you buy the enclosure one time, and you can buy, almost, any graphics card and slot it in. What's nice here is that you can upgrade your graphics card whenever you'd like, so if your GPU isn't powerful enough a few years down the line, you can buy a new one and throw it into your eGPU. Easy as that. A no-frills purchase, the Sonnet EFFX breakaway box offers little in the way of ports and design. However, it's easy to get into and install the graphics card, and this box could be fine for people who just want a game on their laptop. Other than the rounded edges along the front and a blue backlit squiggle meant to resemble an S, the Sonnet EGFX breakaway box won't turn heads. The 13.4x8x7.3-inch, 7.1-pound box is rather squat and wide and sure to take up a sizable space on your desk. Two metal lattices on the sides of the device make sure the GPU receives proper airflow. Like the Aki Tio node, the breakaway box only offers a Thunderbolt 3 port and a port for the AC power cord. Getting into the breakaway box involves removing two black bolts on the back of the box and lifting off the top. Installing the GPU is as simple as snapping it in. Despite multiple attempts, we could only get the breakaway box to work with the ThinkPad T470. However, we had to install a driver to get the system to recognize the eGPU. At $295, the breakaway box is the cheapest eGPU we've tested, and with the plain Jane design and lack of ports it shows. The breakaway box is a simple solution to a significant issue. No bells and whistles, which I initially appreciated. But the eGPU box is inherently a docking station, so there is an argument to be made for adding other functionality. In my case, once I am set up at my next project, Using a 10 gbay adapter in the second TB3 port on my laptop will be a better solution for top performance and bandwidth anyway. So I am excited about the possibilities that EPUS bring to the table, now that they are fully supported by the OS and applications I use, and I don't imagine buying a laptop setup without one any time in the foreseeable future. The Sonnet Breakaway box meets my needs and has performed very well for me over the last few weeks. The Aki Tio Note is the embodiment of getting what you pay for. The Note offers a rather boring design and unintuitive accessibility. The eGPU barely has any ports, and it was compatible with only one out of two Windows laptops we tried. Which when you think about it, puts it on a par with the minimalist ultra-portables it's trying to augment. There are sleek black boxes like the Razer Core, and then there's the Aki Tio Note. Where the blade exudes sexiness, the Node screams afterthought. A silver logo embellished with a bootleg version of the Marvel Avengers A on the front of the system is the black aluminum box's only bling. Whatever card you place in the node will have plenty of air, thanks to grates on the front and right side of the box. A spider web cut out toward the left rear delivers air to the power system. Measuring 16.9 x 8.9 x 5.7 inches and weighing 10.8 pounds, the node is the longest EPU we tested, so you'll definitely have to scout out some space before you make that purchase. 
The Aki Tio Note has a Thunderbolt 3 port and a power port. That's it, so you can forget any and all thought of VR due to the lack of a USB 3.0 port. You could try stretching the Rift or Vive's rather short cables around to the laptop, but I doubt it would work. The Note is one of the cheaper EPUS on the list at $268. And for that price, you get a rather bare-bones system that must then be augmented with a GPU. In the end, we could only recommend the Akishio node to laptop owners who need to maintain their device's portability and who do not consider building a desktop as an option. Even then, we find the Gigabyte Aorus Gaming Box to be a better investment, mainly because it's extremely compact and comes complete with a GPU, and a rather good one, at that, thus allowing you to skip the insane GPU prices. Is the Akishio node a bad product? Most definitely not. It is well built and is just the right size, making it both portable and compatible with any GPU. However, the deal breaker will inevitably end up being the price tag. That said, as far as other e GPU cases go, the Node is at the top. Like the Node, most of them ship without a GPU but are even more expensive. Turn your mobile workstation into a powerful battle station. The Aorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box is a complete yet compact solution that comes with a GTX 1070 graphics card and 450W PSU built inside. Hook it up to your laptop and you have a battle ready machine right away. Here is how it works. First plug in the power cord. Next, connect the Gaming Box to your laptop with the Thunderbolt USB Type-C cable included in the package. The Thunderbolt 3 technology enables blazing fast 40 gigabits per second of data transfer while providing up to 100 watt power to the connected laptop at the same time. When you see the gaming box lights up and hear the notification sound, it means laptop has successfully recognized the gaming box. Then follow the instructions on the screen to proceed. Finally, download the Nvidia driver and the installation is done. A quick reminder, do not unplug and replug the cable immediately as it may cause system failure. Wait for the disconnection sound and then plug the cable back in again. Now you are ready to play on your Ultrabook laptop. Just to up your game even more, you can connect an external monitor of your choice for an enhanced gaming experience. At the back, there are three USB 3.0 ports where you can hook up your gaming peripherals and external storage to set up a complete battle station. There is also an extra quick charge 3.0 port to charge your mobile devices when the battery is running low. There you have it, the innovative external graphics solution from Aorus. Work hard, but don't forget to play even harder. Enjoy the best of both worlds with the Aorus GTX 1070 Gaming Box. Aorus. Hi, this is Greg from Asus ROG, and we're here in New York at the uh, Asus Zenvolution event, showing off a lot of the new Zen products, but we also have an ROG display going on, so I want to show you one of the coolest ROG products that we have on display here. Now, I know you might look at this and say, hey, that's not ROG, and you're right. This is the Transformer 3 Pro, and it's an ultra-portable 2-in-1 that's very fast. It runs a Intel Core i7, a 512GB SSD, and up to 16GB of RAM. Uh, but one of the coolest features this has on it is a Thunderbolt 3 connection and that's where the ROG comes in. Let's say you want to game on this thing. Well, you can go ahead and plug it into the ROG XG Station 2. And this is an external graphics card enclosure. Um, right now it's got a Strix GTX 1080 inside. And it's more than just an enclosure. If you take a look at the back, it has networking, USB hubs, so you can really use it as a dock. You bring your two-in-one home, you can plug it into the really high-powered graphics and start gaming or editing video, anything like that. And here in this display, we've got it set up kind of how you might have it at home with the keyboard and mouse. Right now, we're using with the brand new Spatha mouse and the Claymore keyboard, which is gonna be available soon. But we've also got it connected to our latest uh, PG248Q monitor. This is a 24 inch 1920 by 1080 monitor. And its real claim to fame is its refresh rate. It's up to 180 hertz. 
Uh, so this is the monitor we send to all of the eSports tournaments that we sponsor, just so people can have the highest refresh rate possible. So that is the ROG XG Station 2. It's a really cool way to get desktop level graphics onto an Ultrabook or a 2-in-1 like we have here. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and we'll see you next time. The Razer Core X is from none other than the most popular and highly appreciated gaming brand, Razer. The Razer is already known for its excellent, albeit expensive, gaming products, the products which deliver efficiency, performance and compatibility. This is what the Razer Core X offers as a powerful external GPU box. Currently, Razer offers two of its EGPUS, the first one in our list is Core X, and the second one is Razer Core V2. In its first glance, the Razer Core X looks like a simple external GPU lacking any trademark beauty of RGB by Razer. Yet, unlike Gigabyte Aorus, this isn't what every gaming box should offer. Instead, the Razer Core X is built for performance-oriented gamers who want to convert their mini PC or laptop into a monster gaming PC which delivers everything a gamer needs. Talking about its design, the Core X is spacious enough to support triple width graphics card. For power-hungry gamers, this is the best choice they can make as the box features 650 watt power supply. The gaming box is compatible and supports some of the laptops manufactured by Razer, such as Razer Blade, Blade Pro, and Blade Stealth. As it comes with Thunderbolt 3 port, the Core X is equally compatible with all the laptops having Thunderbolt 3 feature. In terms of compatibility, the Core X is compatible with a full range of Cordo, GeForce and Radeon graphics cards. Further details about compatible cards can be confirmed from the Razer's official website. Just like a Kishio node, the only downside of Core X is the limited ports as it lacks any USB ports or any other ports for more connectivity options. Overall, the Razer Core X is relatively affordable external graphics card enclosure with best features to support small as well as heavy graphics card. The box, although lacks USB ports, supports the best graphics cards available in the market. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.